Hey guys, I just wanted to give a brief tutorial on how to auto load files with GC Doom and how to create your own batch file shortcuts. I have the documentation opened on the right hand side of the screen on how to auto load files. I'm going to leave a link in the description below just in case you get stuck so you can view it for yourself. But I'm going to try to be as thorough as possible. So the file that we want to edit is gzdoom.ini and for Windows users this is going to be located in Documents, My Games, GZ Doom. Double click the file and it should open with Notepad. Let me open this box up a little bit. Hit Control F and type in the Find What box Global. Make sure the direction is down and then hit the Find Next button and it's going to take you to this line of text global auto load. Now below this line of text you're going to want to type in path equals and then the path the file is located in. Yours is probably going to be, your path is probably going to be different from mine depending on where you have the file located but you want to find the located or the file you want to load and get the path and paste it below glob global auto load. Make sure you have path equals. So just to show you guys how to do a foolproof way on how to do this, I'm going to delete this line and I'm going to go to my file or my location that I have the texture pack file. So this is the uh, HD texture pack PK3 file. What you're going to want to do is hit shift, right click and then copy as path. Then you're going to want to paste that below global auto load and make sure you delete the quotation marks. So here before and after the path. Then before the path you want to type in path equals and you should be good. I'm loading a texture pack and a soundtrack a WAD and PK3 file so just keep that in mind. You want to save the file um, and close out notepad and I'm going to launch doom one to confirm that it worked okay so as you guys can see here these are HD textures and I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that is definitely not the default soundtrack. So I'll just let it play for a little bit. So there you go. Next, we're going to talk about how to create your own batch file shortcuts in case you don't want to use a program like ZDL. So go to the directory where your gzdoom.exe is located in. Make sure you have your Doom WAD or Doom 2 WAD, depending on which game you want to play, in this directory with the uh, PK3 or WAD files that you want to load with uh, Doom or Doom 2. So you're going to want to create a text file uh, with Notepad. So to do that, you just hit right click, New, and then Text Document and inside of the text document you want to type this script gzdoom space file or gzdoom space hyphen file and then the file that you want to load with doom or doom 2 this file here on my screen is project brutality now you can load wads using this method as well before you start loading in files, I would look at what the mod author recommends as far as load order goes and follow that, but this is how you do it. So gzdoom hyphen file and then the file name of the mod. Now let's say you want to load multiple files. Uh, you can do that by doing this. So first file is Project Brutality and let's just say the second file is uh, brutal doom so you would hit space the next file space the next file space the next file so on and so forth and that's pretty much it
then you want to save the file and rename the file extension to dot bat which is short short for batch it's going to ask you if you want to change it just hit yes then you want to right click create shortcut and drag the shortcut to wherever you want to launch the game from you can rename it if you want you can uh, change the icon if you want I'm not going to show you how to do that but just to confirm everything's working I'm going to launch Doom 1 again And there you go. So everything seems to be working all right. So I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.